Just remember, when the devil says you can't, God says you can. So I want you to apply this to your local church, to your city, to where you live. You know the circumstances that I'm not aware of. And I know you face obstacles. I know you face challenges. I know you face limitations. I know you face a secular culture that's not very hospitable to Christianity or to the apostolic faith. But in the midst of uncertainty, opposition, obstacles, and turmoils, don't listen to what the world says, but listen to what God says. When the devil says you can't, God says you can. So in our story, Numbers 14, we see the response of the congregation of Israel to the report, the two reports from the 12 spies. Unfortunately, the congregation as a whole believed the negative report. They rebelled against Moses. They threatened to kill the two spies, Joshua and Caleb. They expressed a longing to go back to Egypt. Shockingly, they long for the security of slavery. Sometimes the responsibility of faith and freedom is frightening for those who have been slaves. And sometimes we see that in the church, that when God sets people free, he calls them to a wonderful, blessed life of holiness. But the responsibilities of freedom, the new way of life, seems challenging and sometimes people seem to go back to the comforts so to speak of what they've known in the past but we've got to keep the vision god's plan is always the best for us yes we must turn away from our old lifestyle but the good news is god sets us free from addictions and habits temptations. God sets us free from lifestyles that are contrary to his will. And yes, it can be very disruptive, but whatever God asks us to change, it's always the best for us. God's plan is always the greatest. In our culture, it seems that every sin and every lifestyle is affirmed and celebrated, even those that are diametrically opposed to God's will. It puts the church sometimes in a difficult situation because we've always got to stand for truth. We cannot compromise. Yet we speak the truth, according to Ephesians 4, we speak the truth in love. And what we should offer, we're not bigoted, we're not full of hate. We don't reject people that have different lifestyles. We encourage everyone to come to church. We encourage everyone to come to Jesus Christ. And yes, everyone potentially can be part of the church, but they've got to follow the Lord Jesus Christ. They must be born again. They must follow the teachings of God's word. They must follow God's plan for their lives. But the good news is God forgives us of our sins and evil choices of the past. And God will transform us. Whatever God commands, God will enable. God can help us follow his will and fulfill his purpose. The devil says you can't change. The devil says this is your identity. This is the way you are. This is your addiction. This is your habit, your lifestyle. But God has a better plan. When the devil says you can't change. God says, I will transform you by the power of the Holy Spirit. When the devil says you can't, God says you can't. 